All right, good morning, Life and Life West Children's Ministry. This is Sunday, February 25th. I'm trying to make sure I remember the day. My name is Teacher Regina, and today we're going to continue our lesson around learning about God and learning about who He is. So, in discovering God, we ask a lot of questions that we've been learning over the last few weeks. So um, I'm going to start us off in prayer, and then we're going to jump right into the passage, and I'll read through some of the scripture, and then we'll read through what we're going to learn today about learning who God is. You guys ready? All right, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us into your house today, Lord. Lord, fix our minds, our hearts, our bodies, and our spirits to hear your word. Lord, let us be open to receiving the Holy Spirit to hear from you. Thank you for those of us who are here today, those of us who are watching online. We pray for those who weren't able to make it in today, that they're still able to hear a word from you, Lord, and wherever they may be. We give everyone traveling mercies to and from. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, so basically this is about the Holy Spirit and what God is doing now that he's no longer here on earth with us because God is in heaven. So the question is, what is God doing in heaven as we speak, right? So I'm going to start, I'm, gonna, I'm going to read the passage and then we'll get through some of the lessons. So I'm reading from John 14 and I'm going to read verses 1 through 4 and we're going to see what God is doing. So let's see. John 14, verse 1 through 4. So Jesus, the way to the Father. Do not be worried and upset, Jesus told the people. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house, and I am going to prepare a place for you. I would not tell you this if it were not true. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you myself so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. All right, so that was short and sweet. What is God doing right now? He's up in heaven. He said he's doing what as we speak? Let's raise our hand if you have the answer and I'll see who has that answer. Did you raise your hand first? Yes? Yes? Okay. What is, what is God doing? Preparing rooms for us. So what does it mean to prepare a room, you guys think? What does that mean? Eden on this side. Both of the Edens. Yep, exactly. Like you're decorating for a party. So it said that he has many rooms in his father's house and he's preparing a room for us. Do you guys ever have play dates or like, have you ever had a birthday party? And you know, like, let's say your party starts at three o'clock or you have a play date and your friends come over to play. And then we have to do what? What do we have to do before like our, our visitors and our family and everyone comes over? Matea. We have to set up. Yeah, we gotta set up, right? We gotta make it, welcoming, we gotta make sure we're cleaning, we gotta make sure that we're preparing the place for us. So that's what Jesus is doing in heaven right now. He's preparing a place, and he's been preparing that place for a long time. So now I'm gonna read passage 20, um, verse 26 and 27, it says, the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. So how is God gonna come to us? Who is the helper? It says the helper is what? Do you guys, did you guys catch that? Yes. Jesus. Not Jesus, but who is the helper? Do you guys catch that? I'm going to read it again. The helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Who is the helper? I didn't see. This is him. Okay, Joseph. Who's the helper? 
Who knows who the helper is? Lola. That's right. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is coming in Jesus' name, and he's going to make sure that we are ready and that we're prepared. So everything that we do is through the Holy Spirit, right? So for the last couple of weeks, we've been asking some really big questions of our curiosity of Jesus, right? We've been wondering and trying to figure out who was Jesus. We're trying to learn about Jesus. We're always trying to learn about Jesus. And he was the son of God. God promised to send a savior who would save the world of sin. And Jesus did that when he came and he died on the cross. So we asked if Jesus had human problems like us. And we saw that the answer was what? Does Jesus have human problems like we do? Yes, he does. Jesus knew hunger. He knew what it meant to be tired. He knew what it meant to be sad. He knew what it means to be lonely, have fear and frustration. So Jesus knows what it feels like to be tempted by sin because he, he also, but because he was also God. He never gave into that temptation. He felt every emotion we will ever feel. He felt physical pain and the pain of a broken heart. He understands what it means to be human. Isn't that amazing? So what is that? So that makes me feel like everybody has different feelings at different like places where you are in life, right? Like in this room, even today, you guys are all feeling different. Some might be tired. Some of you might be excited. Some of you might be hungry. Some of you might be happy. Some of you might be worried or sad. And God knows that emotion. God knows how you feel. So when you are struggling, or even if you want to give thanks and you want to be grateful, you can always talk to God because he knows where you are. He's, he's felt that emotion. Doesn't that make us happy? To talk to someone who actually knows what we're going through. Yes. Right? Someone who's been there, who's experienced it with you. So you can talk to God about anything. Right? Yes. Any feeling. Do you guys understand that? Any feeling that you have, you can stop in your day and you can say to God what you're feeling. Are you guys going to try that? Yes. Moving forward, we should try that. Like even just in the morning when you wake up, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, my back hurts. I'm so tired. Lord, I'm tired. And then I get the strength through the Holy Spirit to get through the day, you know, or sometimes I'm so excited because maybe something happened fun at my house and I just thank God, thank you God for this exciting time, right? So you guys can talk to God about anything because he knows that emotion. So we asked if Jesus really rose from the dead, right? We're about, we're about to experience that as we um, prepare for Easter in the next month or so. We're gonna learn more closely about what that means. You guys probably have heard it a lot before. Um, and that question was once again, what? Did Jesus raise from the dead? Yes. yes, he did. We learned that there have been conspiracy theories claiming that Jesus' resurrection was fake and from the very beginning. So we learned that many people saw Jesus alive with their own eyes, and we saw people who were willing to die for what they believed in. So Jesus is alive, and he has conquered that death, conquered death and sin. So this brings us to today's question. If Jesus is alive, where is he? What is he doing right now? And there are two parts to this answer. So first question is, where is Jesus? In heaven. Have a seat. So Jeremiah answered the question when he raised his hand. So he said Jesus is in heaven. Is that correct, you guys? Yes. That's good. Make sure you wait till we're calling on you, okay? So yes, Jesus is in heaven. And what is he doing? just learn this. What is he doing? Janae? He's watching, He's watching us. What else is he doing? Matea? He's making sure we do the right things. What else, Maya? Making room. Making room or preparing a place for us, right? So we learn that he's in heaven and he is also wanting us to follow him. So Jesus wants us to follow him so that we can go to this place in heaven that he is preparing for us. So in order for us to receive the um, gifts of God and the lessons of God, you know, we need to make sure that we are open to what? Who's the helper of God? Joseph. The Holy Spirit. Yes, you got it. Yes, you got it this time. Jesus. 
has a helper, which is the Holy Spirit. So he's preparing a pace for us, and he is leading us there step by step with the Holy Spirit. Jesus is with us now, right? And we believe in Jesus as our Savior, so we'll live forever with him. Amen, right? We will live forever and ever with him in heaven. So we ask a lot of questions. And what are some things that we can do to show that the Holy Spirit is living in us? Oh, wow. A lot of hands already. Maya, then Lola, then Eden. All right, let's go. What are some things that we can do to show that the Holy Spirit is living in us? Yeah, go ahead. Um, maybe pray. Pray. Good job. Lola? Believe in Jesus every day. I think I said... Was it eat it over here? Yes, eat it. Um, obey him and listen to what he says. Obey him and listen to what he says. Absolutely, Izzy. We can listen to our breath so we can be baptized. We can be baptized. Yes, amen. Um, here, I forget your name. I'm sorry. Learning Chloe. How Chloe. To be just like him. Learning how to live and be just like him. Learning how to follow him. Eden. Noel, read the, Bible. read the Bible. Really, really great. What else can we do to show that the Holy Spirit is living us? You guys just did it. You guys literally just did it like ten minutes ago with Teacher Karen. What do we do, Janae? Worship. Worship. That's so much fun, and God loves when we worship Him. He loves when we sing and when we dance, right, for Him and through His for His name. So you guys already know a lot of wonderful traits and characteristics that we can have to know that the Holy Spirit is living in us. Do you have your hand up? What, what's going on? Going to church. Going to church. Oh, yes, that's oh. another one. Going to church. Absolutely. Who else did the answer? Gina. Uh, we got, we got Ms. Karen rocking like Vanna White around here. Everybody. <laughs> 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 Praising God. <laughs> Praising God, absolutely. Did everybody get a chance to go? Mateo? No. Every morning and every night. Good, good, good. Anything else we can look we can do to show that we're living that the Holy Spirit is living in us. You guys have said a lot of wonderful things. The question is, do we try to do those things every day? Yes, we should, right? Lola? I'm, I'm past that one yet. So the question is, do we try to live those things out every day? Yes. Are we perfect? No. no. So when we're not able to live out those things or we're struggling, what can we do when we're struggling? Maya? You can ask God and tell him that you're struggling. Absolutely. Absolutely. You gotta pause and you gotta ask God to help you to recognize what is missing. What am I what is happening right now? Why am I not able to be kind to my friends at school? Why am I not able to listen to the directions of my parents? Why am I having a hard time fighting or arguing with my cousin or my siblings? Why is this test so hard for me? Why is this hard for me? Right? So we want to make sure that we're trying to live it out every day. And you guys know a lot of those characteristics. You guys said a lot of good stuff. But sometimes we fall short, right? And that's where God is always there to help us. Because God is, he knows every emotion. We talked about that, right? He's been there. He knows how to help us through all of these things. Does that make you guys happy? Yeah. Yeah? Because we're going to have hard things that come our way, right? And doesn't it make you happy to know that someone can get you through it? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Do you guys believe that the Holy Spirit is going to come into our hearts and our bodies and help us to follow God? Yeah. Are you guys going to be open yeah. to the Holy Spirit? Because that's yeah. how we have to get there. we got to be open to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That's how God speaks to us. Right? <clears throat> Absolutely. Okay, any questions about what we learned today? Do we know a little bit more about who God is and what God is doing for us right now? Yeah? Okay, good. All right, so we're going to close out in prayer, and we're going to say, um, 
Thank you for the helper. Which, who's the helper? The Holy Spirit. Right, great, good, good, all right. Heavenly Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for making it available in our lives every single moment of every single day, Lord. We thank that we have a way to call on you, that you understand our emotions, that you understand what we're going through at any moment of any given day. Lord, we ask that you will help us to remember to call on you in times of need, as well as in times of happiness and times when we are grateful, Lord. We thank you so much for preparing a place for us in heaven so that when the day comes, that you will have a room especially designed for us, that we can have eternal life with you. Jesus, we thank you for your word in this lesson today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, guys.